This episode of UFish TV is brought to you by Robust Automotive and Marine Paints, Shimano Unequaled Engineering Excellence, Ray Marine Electronics, Bar Crusher Boats, Suzuki Outboards, and Club Marine Insurance. There we go. Another bruiser. Finally. Four hours. One, two, isn't it? Swap sides. There's a spray coming off that reel. That's a good snapper cutter. Yeah. <laughs> good fish, mate. <laughs> we only waited four hours. Come on, top. But, mate, that's what it takes to catch big fish. You just got to sit and wait and wait. Just keep working those rods, keep changing those baits, make sure those baits are fresh. And finally, we're home. This is a good fish. It's a good fish, Carter. It took some good line off you. That's a good fish. <laughs> That's a good fish, mate. Yes! Go easy on him, brother. We've got some company over here, Rob Smog's just coming over to watch us boat a big snapper. He's giving you a bit of uh, grief, is he? I'm trying to stay near the motor. Even though I've got the rod right well away. He's naturally over that side. <laughs> You know, you know they're good fish when they plug it under the boat. And you can't get them up. Yep. I don't want to put any more on this. Just having that soft hands, you know. This reminds me of me fishing in Port Phillip Bay. That went 21 pound. Really? Yeah, it just dogged under the boat. This is a good fish. I'm not saying it's going to be 20, but I'm telling you, it's a good fish. Beast fed on for a while? Mate, I reckon it is. Just a good fighter. Good fighter, mate. Right? Still a nice fish. He's given everything. It's a good fish. Get him out in front of your body, please. And spin it around. Spin it around. There you go, mate. Nice. Not quite as big as what I was hoping, but still a good fish. Beautiful colours on this. Beautiful 
Well done. Beautiful. <laughs> the second, I mean, I'm talking the one second from the rod tip moved, we knew that was a snapper because it just, it was a nod and then a load and it was all done very fast. Always a good sign. And that is our good friend Dave Standing, aka Rob's Bob, who's also got some nice snapping tonight, I believe, over here in the channel. Anyway, we'll keep at it. My gut instinct straight up, Carter, gummy. See how good I am. Within three seconds of holding the rod, I picked it as a gummy, so. Well, that's more snapper like. Charge in the boat. Can you see with them all right in the camera? Yep. Oh, look at this. It is such a great grey. Look at this. <laughs> it's a great grey, Carter. You and me doing great greys again. What's going on, mate? Can't escape them. Lofty, there's your iron fist rod, mate. I said to Lofty, the start of snapper season, I want you to pick out snapper outfits that anyone can come in and buy. Affordable and tough. See, I'm using the length of the rod, pushy trying to pull the fish away from the boat. Just trying to go under the boat. I'm trying to get it out. Oh, oh, faster. That's a nice gummy. Go by the tail, mate. <laughs> That's awesome. I called it, didn't I? Yeah. Just back the drag off. So if the fish wants to go, I'll let it go. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to You Fish TV <laughs> Series 7. <laughs> Whoa. Circle hook did its job superbly. There it is. No harm to the fish, comes out easy. So they call it a gummy shark, have a look around there, Carter. No teeth, just gums. Big crushing place for crushing crabs. Let's see what she's got. Come on. Come on. Give me a squeeze. Give me a squeeze. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's a, it's a, it's a very heavy fish, Carter, I tell you. There we go. It's over 20. It's just got a lot of weight on it. It's very thick through the middle. Very fat through the middle. Come here, you big beautiful girl. This is the way to hold it. Grab the tail there, tight. Then rest their body under, under their body with your other arm. And then if you get her to relax, come in here, darling. Come in here. Relax. Ooh, there you go. There she goes. Big girl. Here we go, Carter, back together, mate. Doesn't I think. <laughs> it is amazing. When they're this big, they're prime breeders. Capable of releasing 50 gummies every two years. That's not a lot. To ensure the future of this species, and so we can keep on catching them. And Finn and Billy, and your kids can keep catching them. We put these big ones back. Let's get it going. Come on. Come on. The problem was I fought on such light gear that... Oh! Now I know what a crab feels like. She just bit me hard. Come on, girl. Come on. Show us some fight. That's it. Come on. That's it. Ow! Oh! Okay, you're ready. Go. Go. She's on that way, Carter. Quick. Oh. 
I don't know if you saw that, but she swam her way real good, didn't she, Karski? All right. Time. Feels good. Feels real good. Oh. Feels good. series where they're visiting the Western Channel Western Port for one very special day in December. Today I've got Rob Johnson on board, who's got the camera at the moment, who's going to be on the rods and we're going to try and film ourselves up a really nice show of large gummy sharks and or school sharks. Just give yourself that one day this month to have a go at it and would you believe the weather's just glassed off this morning. We're going to start the running tide right now. I've got this little spot just up here that I love to fish. Running rig there, runs up the main line. As you can see we've got a, about a one foot length, a very light line with a 12 ounce sinker and a 100 pound mono all the way back to the hang bait on an inline circle hook. Mate, that's, I think that's a big snapper. Get on that. I think that's a snapper. It's not what we came for. Well, can't complain, can you? It's a good fish, man. Whoa. <laughs> How exciting is that when you see that turn? If that's a snapper, I'm telling you, that's a big snapper. I think so. <laughs> oh, oh wow. That explains those violent head shakes. Yeah. They were crazy. Alright, put him on the floor. Let's get him up for a photo or two for you. 
No. Oh, look at that. Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson. We've been looking for that stuff for all season. So what do you think about that? I am stoked. Yeah. That's the biggest snapper I've caught to date. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that tail we want, it's massive. That fish has got to be 900 long. <laughs> Look at the size of the tail. Alright, swing it back. Oh. That is a 7 kilo snapper right there. Couldn't believe it when it came up. Freaking me out. Anyway. More action after the air break. See you soon. The, the pinnacle of fishing in Western Wolf for me is sitting out here in the deep, watching those rods bounce and then scream. And we're talking 200 metres of line sometimes on 15 kilo outfits. Don't get on that. About to see it. Oh, hello. It's a gummy. Nice little fella. Beautiful little fish, aren't they? Alright, so it's small beginnings, mate. Well done, Rob. Cheers, muchly. That's a keeper or release? What are you going to do? I think we'll let this one go. You let it go? Yeah. Yeah, right. And the, and the circle hook has done its job brilliantly. Look at that, everyone. That is why we use circles, because we can choose to release. That fish is about six kilos, seven kilos. Nice fish, mate. Beautiful, isn't it? It's on. It's head shaking again like another snapper. Yeah. Go, go, go. I think that's another big red, mate. I think it's bigger. <laughs> still there? Yep. Yeah, he's still there, alright. Yes, it is another big snapper. Look at the head shakes on it. <laughs> They're crazy. Oh. That feels oh, nice. Oh mate, that's a big fish. That feels nice, really think, nice. I think they're about to get your new PB. <laughs> There's another big snapper. I come around this side maybe, this land at this side. With the hard top, is living up to the standard set by the old crusher. <laughs> It's only like it's third or fourth trip in Westernport in a month. And that is a big fish, mate. Yeah, Look at the weight nice. on that. This could be the Great Grey. It's cruising like a Great Grey. At first I thought it was a big red. There is a lot of weight in this fish. We'll just go easy, mate. Jeez, it is acting like a snapper though, isn't it? Yeah. No, Robbie. Who needs gym when you can do this? I live for this. Yeah, there's the leader.
Wow. What he's doing now is he's stopping the fish hurting itself. Because we don't keep these. We just want to come and see them. Rob has had another PB right at this moment. How many times we use that word PB on this show? <laughs> Look at the size of that beautiful, beautiful girl. Look at this. And there's that big snapper. Look at that snapper. <laughs> Oh. Alright mate, now I want you to put your hand under under that tail wrist. Yep. So do it now for everyone. We'll teach you that's how you do it. Yep. Hold that nice and tight. Now support your arm just under her belly. And lift her up. Test have one. There you go. Oh Robert, Robert <laughs> Johnson. Welcome! To you fish TV, brother. <laughs> oh. Oh. What a fish. Now, let's let's talk about this for a sec, mate. I've drilled you like a drill sergeant today. You've made mistakes and I've yelled and I've carried on and I've pushed you hard and this wasn't good enough and that wasn't good enough, but there's a reason, mate. There's the result. That's why we do it. That's why the one percent is count. That's why. Unbelievable. That is massive. That is one huge <laughs> gummy shark. Oh, but that magic day in December lives up to its reputation. We're going to get this fish going now, and I've got to go to work. That's right, into the paint shop at Robost. Who, without their support, we wouldn't have this show, let me add. <laughs> it's a big fish. I just wish you guys could actually feel how much weight is in this thing. All right, well... I'm going to get you to start swimming up. Righto. Hold her there. Yep. Put your hand in the mouth. I don't care how much he bites you. Yep. Do not let go. Righto. He swam like a bit, we were a bit worried. Uh, 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 and down she went. She knew where the bottom was. You don't get moments like that very often, do you? That was just unreal. You know, I've, I've dreamed of that moment. I've been chasing that fish for so long, so long, so long. I come out here nearly every single weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even Thursday nights and going to work. You know, tired as just trying to chase that fish. I finally nailed it. I'm beside myself. And not to mention the seven kilo snapper we did earlier as well. <laughs> which one's which one felt better? Definitely the gummy. Really? Definitely the gummy. I've got a soft spot for gummies. Wow. Always have. Wow. I mean this this is what the ocean means to me. Fish. It's my life. And you're an ex Navy man. I am. It's hard to comprehend, isn't it? Someone just catches a seven kilo snapper. The Sydney siders won't get this. Seven kilo snapper, seven and a half kilo snapper. Big fish. Just a nudge under 90 centimetres and yet he gets to cut like great grey and a dream comes true. That's what it means to us Melbourne people. We love them that much. And they're rare and they're hard. He's been fishing for years for that. And he comes out today under the promise that we're probably going to get a big fish. And this one's now nodding, would you believe? We've got to go to work. <laughs> and uh, he's, got, he's got two PBs, fish of a lifetime. And there's a reason why he's on this boat. He's a damn good bloke. He's a local boy from Crib Point. He fishes hard, a gentleman. At the drop of a hat, he is always there for the team duty fishing on this U-boat. Personal sacrifice by him gets him on this boat. And that's the result. We all make the sacrifices. We all make sure we get the timing right.